hope you had a great day yesterday and uh, we're gonna be in uh, first Thessalonians chapter 4 again we're gonna wrap up this chapter and then we'll move to the next chapter uh, chapter 5 tomorrow and uh, But we're going to be in uh, verse 13. Let's just dive right in. It says, um, But <clears throat> we do not want to be you to be misinformed, brethren, uh, but those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For this we say to you that the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so that He, so we shall be with, so we sh shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. This is a great, great uh, passage of scripture that refers to the rapture. There's a lot of people that believe that. Uh, Jesus is just going to come back one day and then that's going to be it. This, the second coming, Jesus puts his foot back on the earth. But if you, if you pay attention to what Paul is writing here, it says that we, that the dead in Christ will rise first and that we which are alive and remain will be caught up together with him and meet him in the clouds. So uh, the, there is no word uh, for rapture, it's, it's a term that has uh, been derived from this particular passage. And what we find here is that we, we as Christians, at some point, Jesus is going to come and say, enough's enough, and he's going to pull his church out of this world. And in doing so, he, we're going to meet him in the air, just here as the scripture says. But I'm going to go ahead and read it in the Amplified. And maybe it'll help give us a little bit better clarity. Now, we do not want you to be misinformed, believers, about those who are asleep, are asleep in death so that you will not grieve for them as others do that have no hope beyond this present life. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, as in fact he did, even so God, in the same way, by raising them from the raising them from the dead, I'm talking about the ones that have gone asleep or have died, um, will bring him those believers who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For we say this to you for, by the Lord's uh, own word, that we who are still alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will in no means proceed into his presence, those believers who have fallen asleep in death. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a shout of command and the voice of the archangel and the blast of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain on earth will simultaneously be caught up, raptured together uh, with them, the resurrected ones, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air so that we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort and encourage one another with these words concerning our reunion with believers who have passed on or died. If you've had a loved one that has passed on and they know Jesus and you know Jesus, you're going to see them again one day. And that's a promise given to us by this passage that Paul is writing to us about. And Paul here is asking us to encourage one another. Yesterday we kind of hit on that on that subject of, of encouraging one another, and I want you, uh, I want I want us to take it to heart. I talked to a lady today who uh, is not able to come to church, and 
Uh, this was, well, I talked to her yesterday, actually, because today's Thursday. Wednesday, I talked to a lady uh, on the phone, uh, had a very, very pleasant conversation with her, but she's just, uh, this COVID has really got her distraught, and she's, you know, compromised immune system, doesn't get over colds very well, easily, and she would really like it if we could go live, and the thing that kind of, we, I've, I've got some equipment that I could use to set up so that we can have more permanent type setup. But if we could, if we had a, a internet connection at the church, we could go live, and then that these people that aren't able to get out can still feel like they're a part of it, and they can feel encouraged. I want each of us to to think about those who aren't able to come to church, and let's start reaching out to them. I'm trying to I'm trying to reach out to them, but they, they don't know me yet, and I'm introducing to myself over the phone, and and that's a good thing. But I, it would really go go well if, if not only I but other people in the congregation that are still, that are coming could reach out to these people and be an encouragement to them. That's what the Lord wants us to do is to be an encouragement to one another. I want to be an encouragement to you. I, you are already an encouragement to me. And I want us to be an encouragement to one another so that we can lift one another up and we don't go through these depressed states and these, these isolated states. Uh, that's just the way the body of Christ are to operate. So I hope that you're encouraged by this. I hope you'll find somebody. If it's just one person, you give them a call, send them a card, uh, write them a letter, uh, send them a text, uh, just a word of encouragement. Encourage one another, even if it's more as you see the day approaching. We're one day closer to seeing Jesus come back. I hope you guys have a great day today. I'm going to pray for you before we get off of here and guys can get about your business. Love you guys. God loves you. Let me pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We praise you. We exalt you. We ask, Father, that you help us to uh, encounter opportunities that will that we will be able to lift one another up and encourage one another. Father, I ask that you be with every person that is watching this video, listening to this video. I ask that you bless Finley River Cowboy Church. We do have a baptism service coming up, and I hope that you will be glorified in every aspect of that service and every service that goes on at FRCC. We love you. We need you. We stand in your touch. But above all, we're so thankful that you love us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. God loves you. And I hope you'll keep riding as you follow me here on the Daily Ride.